Hey there, fellow sleuths, it's time to break down death and other details. Episode 5, Exquisite. Let's get into it. Really exciting. I'm going to start right at the top of the episode. I thought it was very interesting and kind of strange how Danny or Keith met up with Lelia and just outed himself to her. It came out of nowhere to me. I'm surprised that he didn't play into her paranoia, keep denying it, and let that fester up. And no, he just straight up told him, told her who he was and explained exactly what was going on. They even had a little conversation about Victor Sam's. This was all told to us by Lelia. So I'm not exactly sure how truthful this is, even though she does seem like the most honest person in the show right now. Next, there may be Imogen. I will also note that she told Rufus that she hopes that he doesn't end up like his friend. And I think that is a little bit of foreshadowing that Rufus will meet his end. I mean, her story makes sense. She was going after Victor Sam's and then Victor somehow messed with her car. And then she became very worried and paranoid that Victor was going to come after her. This all could be true, but I don't believe her on how she says she met Danny and knew who he was. I mean, yes, she found a hidden camera in her room, but she had been staying there for at least four days, searching the room every single day. And just finally on the fourth or fifth day, she decides to use this specific type of equipment and then finds this camera. She did not think about this when she first got there. Seems a little fishy to me. Back on the comment about Lelia telling Rufus that she hopes that he doesn't end up like his friend. During the opening credits, we see a body bag and that body bag changes three times. That makes me believe that there are three different people who will die from Victor Sam's or other people on this boat. First being Danny. And then the second body bag is a larger body. So I believe it's most likely Rufus. The third one is a lot smaller and I believe it will be a female character. If that second person is Rufus, he would most likely be the person we see going overboard in the trailer. That means the clips from the trailer where we see imaging deciphering a notebook or text from someone's notebook is likely the notebook belonging to Rufus Coatsworth and not Danny's. I'm surprised that they haven't tried to figure out where this notebook was. Even more, it didn't show up when they were searching all of the rooms. So someone does have this, but it's hidden very well. But I do believe that Imogen has his notebook after he dies and is then trying to decipher things that are in the notebook. In case you didn't remember, an episode one review, I mentioned that she was looking through everything. She wrote down a lot, but she stopped because it appears that there is a second cipher key because some of the words that she was trying to transcribe does not make sense. Imogene and Sunil stay in Malta in order to have Sunil meet with one of his contacts who can look at the bill of lading and then possibly figure out when it was created and where it went to so she can figure out possibly who killed her mother. While they're there, they're followed by a guy in white. I believe this was 100% set up by Sunil in order to have Imogene feel more comfortable with her or feel more comfortable with him. Once he got to the point where he asked for the document and gave it to his friend that, ooh, no, she wouldn't want to do it. But with that, she feels the pressure. There are people after her, after them. She needs to do this, anything she can, in order to find out what's going on. But no, Sunil needed this document for some reason. I believe Victor Sams or whoever, they either want it for even more blackmail against the Colliers, the Chuns, whoever, or it might have been business that Victor Sams was related to personally, and it might possibly ID him somehow. So he was like, get rid of this. I don't want anything tying me to anything. And of course, with Rufus finding the servers inside of the walls below deck of the boat, it makes it look as if Sunil is Victor Sam's. But obviously, that's way too early for this. I believe there is someone else. And 
that makes it very likely that this isn't even his boat. The only other people with money on this boat of that magnitude are the Chuns. In the trailer, we see a shot that seems to be right after this, where Rufus breaks in. Lelia and Teddy have a computer, it seems, and is doing something with the servers, maybe trying to look up information to see what's going on. I think this will cause the blackout on the boat. And at this time, this is when Rufus will be killed. And we got to talk about the elephant in the room, the lawyer Llewellyn and Agent Erickson getting a little hanky-panky. If it is true that Agent Erickson is Imogene's mother, maybe that's why the lawyer was hitting on Imogene earlier in the season. I believe it was episode one. She's She says that he's always creepy, so maybe there is something there. And it seems as if I would believe that Llewellyn, or Llewellyn knows that Agent Erickson is actually... Imogene's mother, if she's an agent at all. The bill of lading about a blue pigment was written on blue paper. Her bracelet, it was blue. Her car was blue, or Imogene's mother's car was blue. She got a blue scarf from her. Even during episode five, she was dressed all in blue. This makes it seem as if she's the most likely person to be Victor Sam's. In my opinion, there's too much color tying her to this story. I don't know if that's a little bit too on the nose, but there's a lot of blue going on from her and it's all tying back to Victor Sands. There was something I skipped out of the last video. I almost put it in, but I want to bring it up now. I'm not sure what it means. On IMDb, there is nothing for Imogen's mother. Kira Scott does not appear. But there is one for a character named Nora Scott, and it says she only appears in one episode. It doesn't state which one, but it is a different actress. Could Nora Scott be Imogen's actual mother? And maybe Rufus did mess with her memories, and she doesn't even remember what her mother looks like from this long ago. I know that's a little weird, but we're going to meet someone who is a relative of Imogen, and is not and is not named Kira Scott Nora completely different actress I don't know what that means maybe you guys have some ideas let me know down below again things are so crazy it makes me believe that everyone here is in on the charade someone mentioned in a previous video that even the location of the spear on Danny's body changed and they say details matter that could be a mistake but is Danny even dead? Was he even in on this? Was this all a ruse to get Rufus? It, it seems like maybe he might be a person everyone was after. And then Imogene will then figure this out after the fact. That's what I'm thinking is going on. She'll find out that Rufus got too close or Rufus knew too much. And all these people went in on him or created this whole charade to try and end his life, which they succeed. And Imogen will then, in his footsteps, try and figure out what is actually going on. But who is Victor Sams? I don't know. This feels like some Truman Show type thing going on. And the Colliers were broke, so the Chuns are really the only ones with enough money that we see, or at least know of, that's able to do anything like this. Maybe they are a part of it or behind it. I don't believe the Chuns themselves are Victor Sam's or it's some title that they use to do some bidding. They don't need to. They're the Chuns. They talk shit to your face. They blackmail you to your face. They don't need to use the moniker identity of Victor Sam's. There's someone else doing all this. Who knows? Maybe the Chuns being blackmailed by Victor Sam's too. Lelia told her wife that she wants a divorce. It seemed as if it was because she didn't believe her, but I do believe she was trying to protect her, at least make it appear that way. Again, I don't trust Lelia, but this seems like an earnest move from her, but it could just be chess move a couple steps forward. If anyone on this boat is truly innocent, 
it seems like it's Imogen, other than being a thief. Or who knows, maybe all this mention about her being a thief over and over is about her doing all this. Maybe her and her mother are in on it this whole entire time. Maybe she met up with the mother years ago, months ago, and she told her what was up. And they went in on this together. Either everyone's after Rufus or Imogen knows and she's also after Rufus. Maybe that's why they were both put on the boat together. It's a very dangerous situation. Put them both on the boat. Kill people on this boat. While the servers are on this boat. I mean, why would Victor Sims stick his neck out so close to possibly being caught? If not for a very good reason. I don't know. It seems like a lot of work in a very dangerous position to put themselves in. If you believe like I do that Victor is on the boat. It's got to be something very dangerous. Maybe someone there knew who he was or who they are and they needed to get rid of him. Maybe that was it. Getting rid of a bunch of loose ends so they continue doing their thing. I don't know. But those are my thoughts on the latest episode and some things, just random thoughts in my head. But let me know your thoughts down below. Do you, who do you think is Victor Sams? Do you think Lelia is trustworthy? How about Imogen being in on it? I, after episode one, I got rid of that. I really believe everyone is after Rufus here. But again, share your thoughts below. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Dallas. And I'll catch you below deck.